All right, guys, on this Saturday evening, on Saturn's Day, today is October the 4th, okay? The science community, and I've been watching video after video this evening, after watching my Buckeyes destroy Minnesota, <laughs> uh, this is, this is uh, becoming quite revealing. Okay. They say it a three eye atlas. There was a, a large green light that emitted off of it. Now they're not saying what's going on because again there was a letter produced. It makes more sense now that NASA was telling people they knew what it was. It's not a comet. And which of course we know NASA is Satan, but even Satan has to tell the truth. He's not above God. So when God called him to the throne in the book of Job, he had to admit the truth. But now they're holding back information. Was the government shut down not just about the demos and the dumb publicans fighting over benefits? Why is it such a coincidence that this is happening during a Passover of Three Eye Atlas, possible revealing of information. I've been getting all kinds of stories today about scientists say, now that it's passed behind the sun, or it will, you won't be able to see it like a thief in the night. So I looked up what green meant. So Mr. Stephen Burns has broke the internet on this fine. This guy who I keep referring to, I was watching another channel and he found something within a nine minute video study about this green light. Now we also have a solar storm headed towards this earth on Monday and Tuesday, okay? Um, this three eye atlas situation has godly numbers to it. It has emitted something green off of it, okay? So I, t I previously told you that three eye atlas means Elah in the BibleStudy.org. Amuamua translate in the Hebrew in the in the um, the Hebrew gematria as Yeshua. Two eye Borisov translates into which was the second one that showed up in 2019, the same year. I'm gonna say it again that they wanted to destroy the God gene, it showed up two months earlier before they did event 201 in August. Now we have three I Borisov. And for all the, the Bible dummies out there on YouTube, it's the dragon, it's the devil. The devil, it, this, this is the saying, got nothing to do with the devil. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say again, He's never left the planet. This is very important. When God called him in the book of Job, and he called, the Bible says he called the sons of, of God, the sons of men, sons of God. You could say it either way. He called him to the throne, and when Satan answered, because he had to obey, where have you been, Satan? Where you been, homeboy? He said, I've been walking up and down the earth. I'm going to say this again. He did not say he was out in the universe. When he got beat down and, and lost his battle in heaven, the Bible says he went straight to the earth, probably as a comet, and hit the earth like a comet. Okay? And the scripture says, Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth, for the dragon is wrought. The same thing in, in Revelation chapter 12. He is a created being. He don't have more power than God. I don't know why these people on Scum to keep keep fear mongering with the devil, devil, devil. It's the dragon. It's the dragon. Just like that goofy, boogeyman, Catholic jargon of three days of darkness. Okay. So when you look up Three Eye Atlas, and I'm gonna show you with that green also, the green light that it emitted. Now. One brother said, Brother Tony, you got to keep scrolling. You got to keep scrolling when you do the videos when you're in Gematria. Now, I know some of y'all 
you know, you like weights or don't have something to say about us using this calculator. But remember, all things were made for God, by God, and for his use. All things were made. The enemy just takes and uses them, just like the rainbow. Okay? He stole that and gave it to his children, the alphabetical people. But let's go, and I'm going to show you what else I found on this calculator for 3i Atlas. Now, in the Greek, Atlas means God. Okay? But three is the trinity of God. Now, let me show you what, what else I found, what this meant. Okay? And it makes all the sense in the world when I show you what green means. Okay. So, act of God, 221 and 426. That's the original one I've been telling people. Okay? But if you keep scrolling up, as one brother told me to do, but see, I'll be at work on my break, and I don't really have time to get into it. But keep going, and I found a discovery after this ad, and it about knocked me off the couch. Okay? Yeah, I, no joke. What 3i Atlas transferred, and I'm going to go real slow. You see the first word? One, two, two, three, seven, two. What did I tell y'all that two was? The number of completion. One, two, and two is five. Three, seven, and two is twelve. Twelve is godly governance. When the Most High, when Joshua and the, and the twelve tribes crossed they were the River Jordan, they were told to go back and get twelve stones. 3i atlas also means Elohim just in case you don't know who Elohim is we'll look that up let's keep going and see what else it says the Torah okay which he did give the original law some people call it the law of Moses but when I found Elohim I don't know why they got Diddy up there <laughs> but you have Yahoo, Yahweh, oh my goodness. Where do people get this garbage from about it's the dragon? When you can find godly numbers. Elohim, I was not, I, I, I was done. Mashiach, okay? And then when, you, then when you look up what this thing is doing out here, NASA, I just saw a video. I've been watching this all night. The government shutdown was on purpose so that they wouldn't have to reveal that says black magic. I don't care for that one. But, you know, well, how are you going to pick and choose, Brother Ant? Because the initial finding from a Muamua, Two Eye Borisov, and uh, now we have Three Eye Atlas with all these godly names and numbers attached to it. If I go back up here to this first one, okay. Of course you got some other goofy names in there jc jordan okay we ain't looking that that no we're talking about some that that nasa with the serpent tongue t minus which we know to be satan is hiding there's they some of these amateurs are saying they're hiding information they went on a complete blackout understand me a complete they said the information you they said there was telescopes up there that should have been able to see it. We should be having information. But for whatever reason, the same time the government shut down, when they shut the government down, air quotes, supposedly, in air quotes, no one was able to record data. That's BS. That's bologna sausage, okay? Flat out. I don't believe that for one minute, especially when there was a joker who came out and pretty much uh, said that NASA already been knew what it was and that they are hiding this information, okay? I believe that. I believe it. Now we have a solar storm coming to Earth on October 6th and 7th. So I can see October 10th being a big disaster. Elohim. Okay, we all know what Elohim, I shouldn't have to look this up. 
this is three eye boris off but just in case okay let's do this elohim just in case people aren't familiar with it uh let's see now did i spell that right no i jacked that up y'all or where there it is right there that same name was in there are yahweh and elohim the same oh my goodness folks a name of god used frequently in the hebrew bible not only does it mean elah we have act of god now we have elohim and yahweh let me show you what green means as it emitted a green as that's what stefan burns has showed and i keep telling folks don't be getting caught up on him being oh he's a new ager i don't care about what he is personally i'm picking up the meat that he's laying on the table and other people are starting to pick up what this young man has put down and so when we have um when we have the science community blocking information something's not right okay something's not right so let's go back and let's look this up i looked up green okay it emitted a green light they say which is freaking people out okay maybe this is why nasa is hiding the information let me show you what green means okay the number is 137 in hebrew that's the language that jesus spoke by the way in case you want to start tripping let me keep going and show you what i found for green uh, we're gonna keep going up sickle was a good one that caught my eye but there was another word in here and i think i need to keep going down okay lord i am This thing, now you can get on YouTube and check it out, but they are flipping over themselves about what this thing is doing. Somebody told me that the scientists believe, in one video I just saw, they say that Three Eye Atlas is probably hiding within its brightness other smaller comets behind it. Now that it's coming behind, maybe this is the reason why they're not putting the information out, okay? The green light emitting off of it says, Lord, and I am God. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee. Okay, see, I could keep going and find other. I mean, but listen, man. Green light. Okay. Whoa. I am God, and it says, Lord. There is too many kingdom names for all three of these celestial bodies from 2017, Amuamua, which was Yahshua, 2019, Two I Borisov, which means Christian and God gene, right before they tried to destroy the God gene worldwide. And now you got Three I Borisov. Okay, let's pause and go to the Bible uh, app.com or the Bible, Bible study tool. Now, when I went into the BibleStudy.org, I heard another person say that they think the Three Eye Atlas is the New Jerusalem. I'm not going to argue that. We don't know. Eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard. But then when I found this, green was a part of some of the uh, stones and precious colors that he also ordained Lucifer with. Green also means green in the Garden of Eden, which means growth, 
new life, okay? But the green, this beautiful green gems will also be part of the future New Jerusalem. <sighs> My goodness. Or, they say, the four horsemen of the apocalypse represents four separate curses allowed to come upon humanity in the end time before Jesus returned, Revelation 19 and 11. The first horse is colored white, the second is red, the third is black. Most translations include the King James state, the pale green horse, possibly, they say it's green. The problem is Greek from which we get pale is uh, chloris. Okay, chloris is the root word, is the root word from which we get chlorophyll. The words three other New Testaments appear translates as green and he, Jesus, ordered them to make everyone sit down by companies on green chloris, grass. So, either way, this looks, man. I am Lord in the Hebrew gematria, and it means Lord. Okay, I found Elohim as one of the other names for three I Alice. Yo, okay, so let's do this. L O. There it pops up already. We already know, but let's, we, we just we just looking for more confirmation, okay? This is BibleStudy.org. Get past these crazy ads. So, let's go. Just for kicks and giggles, okay? Below, uh, below the list of names shows that the most common Hebrew words used in a reference to God is descending order or Jehovah, uh, Strong's Concordance, Elohim. Oof, my goodness, folks. My goodness. Why? Hold on. Why is man hiding the information? Why do we get into a blackout? Why do we go into, I don't believe that I'm telling you right now on every fiber in my body, the government shutdown was a hoax to hide what this thing is out in the universe, out in our uh, solar, solar system. And if everything that I find on it is godly, not ungodly, okay? This is not a coinky dink, okay? that we have a huge solar storm coming Monday and Tuesday at the precipice of them being able to see what this thing is we have a blackout and from what's being able to be seen out there the information should have been back 24 hours ago Um, this has been fascinating. I'm going to be burning the midnight oil. It's 1130. I know I'm putting this video up late, but this needs to be out. Okay. Is this our last weekend here? I'm still open to the idea of the 17th of Tishri, which would be October the 22nd. The sooner the better. That's what we believe. The call signs. I've said in my spirit, I said out today that would there be i think i put it up on channel two would there be because i showed a major earthquake happened when christ died a great earthquake happened when he was risen now we see these great earthquakes folks and today yesterday big time earthquakes okay so tonight tomorrow By faith, we believe, okay? Let's keep watching.